Good morning, Southern Miss fans. What y'all doing this morning? I wanted to get on here and immediately go ahead and get it out the way. Wash our hands with it. Toss it in the trash with the doggone uh, hand towel. Look, our baseball season might be done, okay? We might have gotten uh, swept in the Super Regional, all right? But we're going to look at the bright side, of course. Uh, we got finally got to host a Super Regional. Um, and on top of that, the last team we beat was LSU. Another 40-win season for the gang. Uh, I think we're uh, leading the country on consecutive 40 wins. Uh, might be wrong on that. There might be one or two other teams doing that. But nevertheless, um, I, I'm excited as, as a Louisiana resident that the last team we beat was LSU, so I can I can hold that. I know uh, all my Mississippi folks over there, y'all kind of wanted that for y'all, and y'all wanted the Ole Miss. I did too, son. My God, I didn't care who it was. I thought Southern Miss was going to the national title this year in baseball, uh, but at the same time, I'm like, man, our, our bats, just someone just turned our bats off, man. And, and you know, that home run we got that they called a foul, I mean, look, guys, I've seen people talking about, uh, you know, it was a, it was fair, it was foul. Regardless, man, I, I feel like the odds were in Ole Miss's favor this weekend. I do. And and get on something else. Uh, Southern Miss baseball, I'm proud of you, okay? Sip's proud of you. I ain't got nothing bad to say about y'all. Um Every single damn one of y'all played your ass off for us, and um, thank you. So, going on to the next, baby. I woke up. A lot of people saw. Uh, a lot of people saw. What was that? Sunday night. Sunday night. The bar uh, at uh, Fourth Street Bar. Great time. Had a great time with a bunch of good folks. Uh, had the squad out. We had some members of the squad out at Fourth Street. Um, we was talking about football season, and they like my doggone wrestling promos. So uh, they asked me to do another wrestling promo. I had done one with my mask on, and then uh, they they wanted another one without the mask. So I did another one, and that's the one I got on camera. Uh, one, of, one of my buddies, Derek Hicks, my man, got a great video of it. Uh, people, people all the time, they say, Sip, you know, you're embarrassing yourself. You need to stop. Go home. You're drunk. Stuff like that, right? Let me tell y'all something. I get so many messages from folks thanking me for not caring about what other people think. I get messages that just say, Sip, you have some big ones. You know, just from doing this, putting your face out here and doing this, that, and other. I get other people saying, you know, like, and it's like real personal sometimes, you know, people, and I'm not going to obviously put names out, uh, but sometimes people will message me and I'll get things like, you know, Sip, I've been going through a hard time about this, that, and the other, and the way you expose yourself and, and release everything in you, you've given me hope. So, so I don't know what I'm doing other than getting on here and doing doggone uh, YouTube videos for Southern Miss and having a good time doing it. This is one of the best hobbies in the world. Uh, but along the way, uh, we, we've influenced some folks and helped some people. So that's what it's all about. And and I didn't know uh, what, it, like I said, when I started this way back, I had no idea what I was getting myself into and um, just wanted people to go to the game with. I just wanted people to show up and have a good time with and party down with and have the same excitement for Southern Miss football as I do because football's where it's at, baby. I love all these other sports, but when it comes down to it, the nitty gritty, baby, I'll cut them all out for some doggone football. But but anyways, man, this thing's grown to be something real special to me. It's my favorite pastime other than my doggone family. Get it right, baby. Get it tight. But look, football season's amongst us. <sighs> September 4th. Your Southern Miss Golden Eagles at the Rock, taking on Liberty in the fighting freezes. That's right, the the Flames, uh, the, the the Hugh Freeze coached Liberty Flames will be in Hattiesburg September fourth. I am so excited, can't wait. And let me tell you something, son. If you don't know, you' about to know because Sippy's gonna be on it all summer, baby, all the way until September fourth into the doggone next school year. So let me tell you, it's gonna be a fun one getting it 
uh, finally talk about football without everybody saying, hey, Sippy, it's basketball season. Hey, Sippy, what about baseball season? Let me tell you something now, baby. It's football season, and you better get your doggone big boy draws on, because let me tell you something, Coach Hall and Gang, Ty Keys, please, and Frank Gordon for Heisman, these guys are going to the doggone Sun Belt championship game. So we're going to see how they get there. We're going to break it down over the time. Uh, am I seriously going to believe, after I look at the schedule again, that we're going to go to the Sun Belt uh, championship? Let's look back into this. We're going to dive deep into it. Y'all stay tuned. Have a great summer. Um, I'm going to try to spend more time off of here now that uh, all the sports are done. But y'all know how I am, man. I can't stay away. It's just like me and football, baby. I can't stop looking up and seeing what we got and who we got and what transfers coming and who's not coming and what, what, what the other. I'm even looking up other teams, y'all. I know that the doggone Utah quarterback uh, transferred uh, into Liberty, and he, who knows what he's going to do. He's probably going to get the starting job after Malik Willis left Liberty. But we ain't getting into all that breakdown right now. Y'all have a good one. Uh, it's Tuesday. Um, go do your thing, baby. No, no, it's Wednesday. I can't even talk right. Listen to me. It's Wednesday. Go do your thing, baby. Um, and, of course, of course, of course, give a round of applause to the baseball team. If you haven't thanked them already, thank a specific player, thank the coach, thank the whole team, thank Southern Miss. It don't matter. If you had a good baseball season overall, if you had more ups than downs, go ahead and give them a message. Um, and, and, and they did. For me, it was more ups and downs. So, thank you, baseball. Hate to see Montenegro leave and Riggins leave. And uh, who else was leaving? Uh, so I can't remember who else was leaving. Some other guys leaving. Got some transfers leaving. Uh, got some transfers coming in. The Alabama kid uh, from Summerall. Uh, transferring in from Alabama. Um, went to Summerall High School, Graham Crawford, a catcher, I believe. We're going to see how, what he's all about. But, look, y'all have a good Wednesday. Stay tuned for some football to the dog on top, baby. I can't believe all the people I was able to meet. The congressman, Steve. Uh, I got to see Marchand again. Got to meet Rod Davis. Got to see uh, Coach Jeff Bauer. Got to see all of the dog on CB Squad members. Got to see Drake, Jay Lump, uh, Derek. Uh, my God, I just can't remember everybody. I saw the Pittmans. I saw Ty Keys. I saw doggone Clay, uh, the, the future of Southern Miss, baby. Uh, Kenyon Clay. I saw countless football players. Lakevious Daniel. I seen him before the game when I just got out the doggone truck. Y'all have a good Wednesday. To the doggone top. Can't wait for football, baby. That's what it's all about. Bye.